I'm very pleased to welcome you to the first special event of our season. Where the development of the film is very largely horizontal, that is, there is a storyline, and this is illuminated constantly by the poetic commentary so that you have two actions going on simultaneously. Now, this, I think, is one of the great potentials of film. What you have to do is to remain true to that which you believe in. Style is the answer to everything. To do a dangerous thing with style is what I call art. Bullfighting can be an art. Boxing can be an art. I just want you to enjoy a point of view which I enjoy. Everything conspires to crush your individuality. That fight for your individuality, for me, it's the essence of what a life should be about, what a good life should be about. Henry James, I think, said that creativity is like having a big stick in a deep barrel, and you turn the stick and turn it around and turn it around. You pull it up and look, and all of a sudden, there's a great idea. I think it's that ephemeral, it's that magical, it's that primitive and interesting and exciting. As it's only on the outside edges of the straight line of thought that you're actually going to find something new. I tried to take whatever influences I had and make them meld together into something. Everything is interrelated. It's no good taking one piece if you don't address the rest. It just isn't going to work. I found I was interpreting it, translating it, I think, and trying to transmit or express it. How environment shapes content. How can the context change the very nature of what I do? The more you know about, the more likely you are to combine things into an idea that's, that's, that's striking. And if you happen to have talent, then you take that uh, technique somewhere with your talent and you create new things. As you design your product, you also design your life. The key thing is that if you're going to make connections which are innovative, to connect two experiences together, then you have to not have the same bag of experiences as everyone else does, or else you're going to make the same connections and then you won't be innovative. What you've got to do is get different experiences. The creative process is you, you're trying to pull it out of somewhere. Often it just starts to appear. Picasso once said this, he said that all children are born artists. The problem is to remain an artist as we grow up. I mean, inspiration is everything. It's about looking, smelling, hearing. It's about life. Start isolating different elements and treat them all with their own reverence. If you put very little things on the page, uh, you leave lots of room for the imagination. For me, that has always been the most important thing, the simplicity, and, and the most difficult thing, I must say. You begin to experience the world in ways that inspire you. He has this point of view about it and a way of presenting it from new angles and new perspectives. I always tell my students, follow your bliss, where the deep sense of being in form and, and, and going where your body and the soul want to go. When you have that feeling, then stay with it and don't let anyone throw you off. There's a thing in Buddhism that says, find what you should be doing and do it. And I think it baffles a lot of people. And I try to tell my children, I say, I said, just try and see what you're drawn to. When you do something that you're, you feel vocationally drawn to, it's not like a job. It's like what you should be doing. It's your raison d'etre. You're lucky if you find something in life that you love, and then it's a miracle if somebody will pay you to do it. The essential principle of business, of occupation in the world, is this. Figure out some way in which you get paid for playing. Yes. 
soon as I feel too secure about something, I, I know I'm, I'm on the wrong track. The day you stop making mistakes is the day you can be sure you are not on the frontier because you're doing things that are safe, things that you already know are going to work. You have to just kind of open your mind up and, and just try things. That created a pathway for me to free myself from convention. Fear is a, an inner resource. It's a compass that often tells you this is exactly where you need to go rather than the opposite way. That's really broken. Спасибо. The initial reaction to something like that, of course, is uh, is just overwhelmingly emotional. With great reward comes great risk, and each of us gets to define what the great reward is. But what really matters, of course, in life is what do you choose to do next? What do you do with all of the events that happen in your life? It's up to your own desire and your own ingenuity to be able to, be able to figure out a fresh way to do it. And you can. You can do this. February 17th. First foot. Toes. Yeah. Whew, this is impressive. Can you push on it? The key thing that comes through is that they had a variety of experiences which they could draw upon in order to try to solve a problem in a kind of unique way. How to turn yourself into somebody different than you used to be? You have to find your own way. I mean, there are no manuals. No shortcuts, no secrets. You write your own manual, you develop your own shortcuts, you find your own secrets. And the last thing that you should do when you're confronted with complexity and, and failure is quit. Life is not perfect, it never will be. You just have to make the very best of it. And sometimes it's terrifying, and sometimes it's incredibly beautiful. And I'll take both. Thanks. To do a dangerous thing with style. What I call art. I was a little too tall, could've used a few pounds. Tight pants, points, all of renown. She was a black haired beauty with big dark eyes. And points all her own, sudden way up high. Way up firm and high. Out past the cornfields where the woods got heavy. Out in the back seat of my 60 Chevy Working on mysteries without any clues Working on our night moves Trying to make some front page driving news Working on our night moves Summertime Thank you. 
for some pie in the sky song. We were just young and restless and bored, living by the sword. And we'd steal away every chance we could, to the back room, to the alley, or the trusty woods. I used to have she used me, but neither one cared. We were getting our share. Working on a nightmare. Trying to lose an awkward teenage blues Working on a nightmares mm-hmm. And it was summertime Yes! That was mm-hmm. epic! Sweet summertime, summertime From 1962 And it's funny how the night moves When you just don't seem to have as much to lose Strange how the night moves With autumn closing in